A slightly higher open on Wall Street today as investors await Thursday's two-day European summit. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says she does not expect a quick solution to the European debt crisis. Despite a weaker job market and a likely recession in Europe, new numbers from the Commerce Department show as companies purchased more durable goods in May. It's the first increase in three months and a sign the economy may be expanding. Economists pay close attention to how much money companies spend on long-lasting goods like computers and machinery because this type of spending signals businesses are willing to invest and are therefore growing. Lawmakers in the U.S. Senate have reportedly reached a deal to keep student loan rates from doubling. The news comes less than a week before the July 1st deadline when interest rates on federally subsidized student loans are set to jump from 3 to nearly 7 percent. The White House says it's pleased with the deal. Democrats and Republicans have reached and hopes Congress will hurry to send over the bill so the president can sign it. And a federal judge orders Samsung to stop selling its Galaxy tablet computer. Apple is suing, claiming Samsung copied the design of the iPad. The ruling is part of a larger patent battle between the two tech giants. Apple is also in litigation with Samsung over patent infringements on the iPhone. The trial begins next month. That's your Money Watch. For more, stay with CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Erica Ferrari.